I've created my very own club in FIFA, and after four seasons of hard work going from division to division, enduring bankruptcy, and bouncing back from it, we firmly established our club as a regular Premier League team. But last season, we took things one step further, winning our first ever major trophy, the FA Cup. And that means it's time for us as a club to dream bigger and bolder. And that's right, for the first time ever, S2 GFC is going to be in the Europa League. We've already proven ourselves in the Premier League to be a solid team, but can we prove ourselves in Europe, take it one step further, maybe win some silverware, it's gonna be an epic journey for the club. We have a point to prove. All right, boys, welcome back to another episode of the Creator Club series. It's time for a brand new season, Europa League. Oh my goodness, we're going on a tour of Europe and it's gonna be amazing. Oh man, what a team we've built over these four or five seasons. Just, just unbelievable. Neymar's in here. Not prime Neymar, but still a very decent Neymar. Players like Scarlett, Raul Lopez, Ibsen Rossi, Scalvini, Berry as well, our captain. And all of these guys are going to be going to Europe, man. Europa League, I can't wait for it. Brand new season in the s 2 office. You guys know what that means. There is so much admin work to get through. First of all, yeah, transfer budget. If we're going to be in the Europa League, we need to be able to compete. Last season, if you do remember, it was Adidas who sponsored us and it was a very hefty signing bonus and everything we got from them. But there was also a bonus for completing their objectives, which we ended up doing. And that means we straight away get 12 million added on to our budget. And looks like Adidas seem to be happy with the work we're doing as they've offered us a renewal. And honestly, I have no problems. I want to work with Adidas again. This is their contract offer. 40 million for renewing with them. This is absolutely nuts and we need this money if we're going to compete in the Europa League and the Premier League and everything. And apart from that, they're giving us a 15 million bonus for the following season if we win the Europa League. That gives us additional incentives. Yo, yo, bring the paperwork, man. We need to sign this ASAP. I'm signing with Adidas. They're gonna be our shirt manufacturer. I know, guys, we've been partnered with Prime up until now, but there's a bit of a problem. To travel to Europe in all these different countries, we might need to go to, I don't know, Romania uh, to, to face a club, or maybe Spain to face Valencia or someone like that. We, we'll need we'll need an airplane. S2GFC will need a transportation system for that. We can't be using our team bus to go all across Europe. Can you imagine? Right now, we've got ourselves a good team bus which you guys can see that's been used to, to travel through the FA Cup and everything it's been fun occasionally Max Holmes uh, tries to drive it good thing he doesn't crash it but yeah it's time to get an airline partner to help us out with all this and that is why we have a decent partner coming through in Emirates that's right boys Emirates who partner with Arsenal they're gonna be the ones flying us everywhere now and they're willing to pay us 20 million that's gonna be added straight into our transfer budget once again love these deals we're signing them right Right now, let's get it done. Sorry, KSI and Logan Paul, we're moving to the Emirates. And so after adding up everything from all our deals, our budget for the season is 72 million. And honestly, 72 million to improve this team. I've already got some ideas and I need your guys' ideas as well in the comment section. New season, new vibes, and you know what that means, new kits as well. And talking about kits, we've got a major announcement. I'm happy to announce that finally our club store is live. That's right, S2 S2GFC.com is live, and of course, we're selling the first edition S2GFC jerseys. You guys have seen them in the video. They look freaking amazing, and finally, you guys can represent with them. The jerseys that Callum Berry, Max Holmes have all worn. It's time for you guys to rep as well. And would you look at that? We've got our very own club fan shop, S2GFC.com. Links in the description. But this is where you guys can order the brand new kits. And it's actually super simple for you guys to order them kits. First of all, you just got to choose your size. Big disclaimer, make sure to take a look at the size chart before choosing because the sizing is kind of different. The best way to explain it is that if you get like an L size in Nike, you'd want to size up. So get an XL. So basically get one size bigger than you'd normally get. But after that, it's a breeze. Just choose your size, click buy now, put in your details and everything, whichever country you're from. We're shipping to a ton of countries, so don't be worried. And also, since it's the first time ever we're launching the website, we're running a promo. s 2 gfc discount code, and you'll get yourself a 10% discount. You know what, boys? The gaffer needs to have a conversation with y'all about this kit stuff because honestly it's getting a bit emotional man to see these jerseys possibly in the hands of you guys the viewers who have made it possible where i am in life right now it's unbelievable so it'll be emotional to see these jerseys being shipped out and honestly it's been a strenuous process getting everything sorted but finally it's here one more thing i'd like you guys to be patient with the order delivery dates because it will take maybe three to four weeks for it to reach you guys and also we've got very limited quantities so if you really want to get 
get the kits now is the time because if they get sold out it's gonna take me a long time to restock because i'm a one man person trying to get this website and all underway guys so the club i think needs to hire more people you know maybe in the future but yeah it's amazing that this is happening s2gfc.com links in the description and s2gfc is the discount code as well get yourself a 10 percent off and the kids only for this week it's now time to reveal our kits for the following season starting with our third kit and boy does adidas and emirates look awesome on you we've gone for a bronze and black combination and it looks really nice a few designs as well on there have a look at this it looks absolutely epic from behind as well and don't forget neymar unveiling our third kit and now down for our away kits for the season of course we've got raul lopez unveiling them a really cool design a bit of purple a bit of white what are we saying lads let me know and a lovely easter egg that you probably wouldn't notice is that there is a cookie on the corner here that is so freaking cool i respect the designers man viper who's helped me mod this into the game and road designs who's designed these kits absolute legend and the one kit you guys are waiting for yes indeed the home kit for the season and it's subtly based on of course the kit i'm selling on the shop which you guys can buy take to get involved there are only limited quantities available but yeah the design is subtly based on that i thought it'd be fitting looks so freaking good man what a lovely home kit for the season and you thought we were gonna forget the goalkeeper kits absolutely not my boy nick pop and edward mcginty both are gonna be rocking solid kits this season take a look at that one what are we saying boys rate our kits out of 10 i'd say this season the kits are a solid 10 like honestly also guys because i'm testing the demand from you guys i've only manufactured very limited quantities of these kits so once sold out gonna be tough to get your hands on them before we get started with building our team for the season ahead spending money well we don't have to spend money there's something to discuss about a new stadium we've been playing in a stadium with a very low capacity but this season we're gonna be in the premier league and the europa league it's time for a stadium upgrade and so s2gfc as a club have decided to spend 10 million on a new stadium i know it seems a lot but i think we needed a stadium of a capacity of 20,000 called the arena del centenario we're gonna be naming it the javier Presa arena but yes guys that does mean our budget for the season has gone down to 62 million but hey we'll make it work now that we're in a bigger stadium gonna get bigger sponsors and everything all right boys we can now officially begin with our season head with everything out of the way anyone else love all the admin stuff or is it just me absolutely love setting up our new kits stadium stuff budget all the brand deals and everything it's all part of you know creating your own club and i think we've done a good job so far but now the focus is on the football this is our team right now guys and honestly it's amazing but there's always room for improvement especially since we're going on a european tour with scarlet and tyler up top i'm not worried for goals especially with max holmes as backup with neymar paulinho kubo and jimenez we're, we're covered for the winger position midfield kovacic lopez bellingham and berry sorted but the left back position with emma is where i'm thinking we could do with an upgrade but more so than that i'm thinking a better center back it might be time as good as ibsen rossi is he helped us win the fa cup did well in the premier league is it time for a bigger upgrade i think it might be and in this episode i want to tackle that take a look at this comment from stewart solidify the back line to get improvement in the league the team is scoring goals but it's leaking way too many goals in tight games that is absolutely true but it's not just one person take a look at this one i think ibsen rossi isn't quite at the caliber that the rest of the team is on so maybe investing in a center back next window would be smart someone like Guardiol, kim min jae i don't think we can afford them but yeah center back is a problem and so after you guys telling me that we need a new center back it's pretty much confirmed that's exactly what i'm gonna do but we've got to make sure we're economical i don't want to be spending too much of that 62 million that we've got and after hunting a bit i think i may have found the perfect player Nordi mukiel plays for psg he's 28 i know not a youngster but i want a player who's good now ibsen rossi is the youngster we need oko is young i need someone now and Nordi mukiel just fits the bill super pacey decent strength and everything great defensive stats the crucial thing with him is that i know he's a right wing back but i can convert him to a center back very easily but the biggest thing with him is that his contract is expiring and you know that i love a player whose contract's expiring so let's do everything possible to sign here we go boys the new kits and everything in the office uh, my office is better than the in-game office i'll tell you that but here we are negotiating with christoph gotier hopefully i'm saying his name right trying to sign muki la from him remember contract expiring i want to get a deal out of this so i'm gonna offer 21 million trust me if we get this for 21 that's s2 gfc supremacy i'm, I'm telling you of course but not but 25.2 million doesn't sound too bad you know honestly we'll counter with 25.8 just trying our best to get the best value
value deal. They're sticking to 25. I'm not surprised. I still think this is a great deal for, for 25 million, but let's try and make it 24. Not ours, not theirs, but made in the middle. And there you go. That's managed to work. Oh, is that a picture of our new stadium? I think it is, as we try and convince Mukiele to sign with us for the next four years. I'm putting that in the contract. No release clause or anything of that sort. I think his, you know, salary and everything is very reasonable. I can't lie and look at that. It's worked. We've just signed Nordi Mukiele. An absolute brilliant signing for the defense. I can't lie, guys. I'm really proud of this signing. We've done some excellent negotiation, solid price, and you know what? We're left with money for other positions as well. And would you look at that? Nordi Mukiele being unveiled in our new kit. Number four. I do like that on him. Superb signing. And as I said, we can convert Mukiel to a center back and it's only going to take us four weeks. So I've simmed through the four months and we can now make Mukiel a center back and it goes up to an 85 overall. I told you, we did some incredible business there. Okay, let's put Nordi Mukiel into the starting 11 now. Where is he? There you go. Oh my god. Does this team look insane with Mukiel in there? So after signing Mukiel, it's not like we didn't make a bit more money. We got some money from season ticket sales and we're up to 50 million. So brilliant. We've got 50 million for one more signing. And where do you guys think that should be? I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments. I'm leaning towards left back, but I wouldn't be surprised if you guys think it's maybe time to replace Neymar. Giving us a good half a season, but getting old, man. It's getting old. Let me know what you think in the comments. I just want to take a look at something, man. Remember a certain Dara Burns played for this club? Oh, man. He's just so freaking good. One day, I want to sign him back. He's 85 rated at Real Madrid. It would be a dream to bring him back. Meanwhile, we have a chance to kick off our season with a community shield. Another chance to win a trophy. I know it's not a major trophy, but it's still a trophy. FA Cup winners, that's us, versus the Premier League winners of last season. Do you know what? It might be the perfect time to just roll back time and take a look at how we won the FA Cup. Just go watch that. Oh, oh, what a gift. What a gift for Tyler. What a gift for Tyler. He was attentive. He was alert. He looks for Neymar. We're going to add another one. Neymar gets a gold in a cup final as well. Very with the assist. We've won our very first major trophy. It's emotional. Look at the scenes. This is officially known as the curtain raiser of the season. The Community Shield final. We're playing for a trophy to kick things off. I'd love to win this. But remember, we're facing the Premier League winners. So it isn't going to be as straightforward as you'd think. And also one more thing. We do have Nordi Mukiel for the first time ever playing in an S2 GFC shirt. Which I certainly am excited for. One more thing, I went for literally my strongest 11 for this game on paper at least because I want to see what we're made of against the champions of England. It's going to be a good game to test all of that as Neymar, well, gets a chance. No, he doesn't. We still have it. We still have it. Kubo. Go on, Kubo. Kubo shoots. Ooh, good save. So far, we're well looking decent. Hey, this is a problem. We just got opened up like nothing before and then Sailmakers just absolutely thumped that one in. There was nothing I could do about that. I mean, to concede like that, first goal of the season. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Like, look at this angle. He absolutely put that one top inch. This is a bit sus. We're coming into the new season with bigger ambitions than ever before. And here we are. Um, one nil down to Liverpool. I, I don't like this. This is again a problem. We're just getting ripped apart here. 2-0 within 20 minutes. This is outrageous. Guys, I've been waiting to see more from Kubo, man. He's a good creator, but we need goals Denied. from him. And uh, I don't know what to say. I hate comparing him to Dara Burns, but every time I do that, Burns just trumps him. Honestly, would do anything to bring Burns back to the club. Okay, this is getting outrageous right now. We are just unable to do anything here. Get the ball away. Good stuff from Raul Lopez. How is that a foul now? Okay, we're giving away a free kick from a Bruno Fernandes position. He goes for it. Bruh. Wow. 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 3-0. This is curtains here. What just happened? We've been hit by a train, it feels like. Honestly, this is worrying signs for the season ahead. I know last season we finished fifth in the Premier League, won the FA Cup, but if this is our evolution for the season ahead, it's horrendous. 4-0 in the first half. I have no words. I legit have no words. Finally, Kubo getting involved, looking for Tyler. We're slowly trying to get back into this game, and honestly, the fact that that goal didn't go in, it just sums up our night. Absolutely horrendous. It's no words. I don't know what point it is to just play this game anymore, but I'm just gonna give the likes of Bellingham and all a chance. Lewis as well. Max Holmes coming on too. I'll probably just bring on McGinty as I'm allowed five substitutions. Let's just do it. You know what? Maybe we're losing this much because we didn't play McGinty in this game. Because he was the one who helped us win the FA Cup, you know, so maybe that's why. No, 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 McGinty. I love you, honestly. Guys, I'll tell you 
you this. If, if McGinty played this game, it would have been maybe 2-0 to Liverpool. He still had lost, but he's just different, you know. Even though Nick Pope makes good saves and all, McGinty just saves the impossible, you know. Can't save this sinking ship, though, because we're absolutely nope. woeful. We're about to concede another. No way, dude. It's... It's 5-0. I'm out of here. It's done. We're not winning the Community Shield. I have no words to describe what just happened, honestly. But if there was ever a wake-up call, it was that game. I don't know what went wrong with this team. We've got a midfield of Kovacic and Lopez. But still, it didn't really do much for us. Neymar was just finished. Honestly, looked like a finished player. If I'm being honest about Kubo, this, this kid's been a bit of a fraud. At least in that game against Liverpool. And last season, he was hit and miss. And Mukiele on his debut might be the worst day. I think I've ever seen it. It was tragic the last game. I'm already thinking like what changes do we need to make now to this team? Honestly, I'm down to get probably a, a better right winger because Kubo, he's just not cutting it for some reason. I'm going to start making Paulinho back as a starter because I think he deserves to be there. But yeah, if this is what we're going to do this season, then forget about the Europa League. We're going to be in the relegation zone. Next episode, I'm going to need you guys, man. 50 million to spend. we got to use that Emirates Adidas money on a big signing and I need you guys to tell me who should we bring in. You know what, guys? We just had one of the most embarrassing performance in this club's history. Like, ever. 5-0 in a final. To get the team's morale back up, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play all the club legends. They're, they're the passion merchants of the club. And I'm sure players like Max Holmes, Berry, Ibsen Rossi back in the team, Iniaki Jimenez, McGinty, they're gonna lead this team to our first Premier League win of this season. Let's get the game underway. It's a risk I'm taking, but one that I believe will pay off. Okay, this is bad. Why are we so but defensively, McGinty, I've been repping you all season long and you can see that. Suddenly, we're playing like absolute baboons. That's the best way to describe it. Go on, Emma. They're seemingly the only player who wants to attack right now. What is this team doing tonight? Oh, Raul Lopez has broken through and I see Max Holmes in a brilliant spot. <laughs> How has he not attacked that? That was a guaranteed goal. No, no, no. I can't select the nope. proper defender. Ibsen Rossi just saved us there. Go on, Berry. Lovely release for Max Holmes. He's been doing this from day one at the club. Max Holmes now. Oh, it's a cheeky Denied. ball run. I can't believe it. No. How do we not score there? We still know we don't have a chance. Max Holmes did everything right, but bottled at the end. This is brutal. Paulinho. Looking for Max Holmes. I see a good run being made by Tyler. Nope. Nothing is working today. Honestly. Oh, Tyler looks for Iñaki Jimenez. Back inside for Holmes. I can't believe this. No way. That's offside. No, That's offside. How is that not offside? Bro, where's the linesman at? Okay, who kept him on? Let's take a look here. Oh my God. Ibsen Rossi, you muppet. Guys, we're losing 2-0. I'm bringing on Scarlett. Neymar is in free fall in his overall right now. Good Lord. Hey, ay, ay. What is happening? We'll bring on Mukiele at the back as well. A couple of changes to just inspire the team a little bit. Raul Lopez. It's a good ball for Tyler. He's offside. Our player is, of course, offside, man. I have no words. No way, dude. No way. This is just horrendous. How? 3-0 down. First Premier League game of the season, and we take a massive L. These are worrying signs for the season ahead. Maybe we focus too much on all the brand deals and everything, and not on stuff on the pitch, because our team is looking as exposed as ever seen before. Honestly, I can't seem to figure out what the problem is with our team this season. Like, it looks good on paper. Paper. Like, what a lineup this is. Is it our tactics? Why is this on long board? Maybe that was the reason. Maybe that was the reason. And it, it should be a lot better now. We'll put it on pressure and heavy touch as well. Tinkering with the tactics a little bit. I think in the absence of Betty, it should be Raul Lopez captain. L let's see if this works a bit better. We now play Brentford in our next Premier League game. And we need to get our first win of the season, man. We're yet to score a goal this season. You know how embarrassing that is? Oh my god. We almost just conceded there. Ay, ay, ay. This is bad. Bit of flair from Neymar would really help. We need someone special to do something special in this team right now. And Neymar just doesn't have the legs anymore. What is this counter-attack right nope. now that I'm dealing with? Good save, Nick Pope. But man, the struggles this season continue. No way. That time nope. is ridiculous. Nick Pope, that is a huge save right there. But my god, is our defense crap. Oh my god. The, the Look at this. We feel slow to every ball. And we're just surviving. This is going from bad nope. to ugly. And Nick Pope saves us again. Tyler has had a shocking start to the season. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have Max Holmes come on. I want Berry in the team as well. And probably Paulinho, I'm thinking, for Neymar or for Kubo, actually. Kubo is on fraud watch right now. Max Holmes. 
Good ball inside for Scarlett. Turns. I can't believe how long he took. Goes Paulinho. He's broken through. Tough nope. angle. I cannot believe. How does that not go in? Addison's making a lovely run. Paulinho gets the ball. Brings it inside. Scarlett. Oh, let's go. Out of nothing, we've produced that. It's Dane Scarlett who scores. Our first goal of the season. And it looks to be an important one. Neymar. Lovely ball for Max Holmes, and I would love to see him get on the score sheet. He puts it wide. And that's full time. Do you know what? With the circumstances we're dealing with, with everyone playing terribly, I'll take the win. Although there's a lot we need to figure out with this team. We've got about 51 million. I'm considering a shock transfer to swap Kubo and Burns. I don't know if Real Madrid can even consider it, but honestly, it's crossing my mind. I miss Dara Burns. I'm also thinking of selling Neymar. Because we could get like 34, 35 million for him. He's been a bit for fraud this season. He was brilliant last season, but it's clear that his career is coming to an end. I'm considering runs for listing him. And God knows, I've got a fair few more plans as well to figure things out. This is going to be hectic. We've got about a week and a half until the trans window closes, and I need your guys' help in the comments. Let me know how should we shape our team with the 50 million. While we are wrapping up today's episode here, yeah, I need you guys to rep S2GFC. Get your kits right now. Links in the description. S2GFC.com. Get it now.